Good evening. This is Kevtech here bringing another video on getting back to basics. And today I actually want to sh make a quick video and show you how to do or how to fix your computer if it's not giving you a good time. Or maybe you have a computer that you've been using for a really long time and for some reason it's gotten slow. It has gotten slower over time and it's just not working the way you want it to work. Or maybe maybe it was good, working perfectly fine until two three weeks later you got an update and now it's not working properly. So let's talk about that. Let's just see how we can fix that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on Windows 7 and Windows 10. Real quick, you go to the control panel. Just type control panel or you could just go to the control panel. And then you wanna change the icons to the large icons. Um, what we do now is gonna be called system restore or we're gonna go to recovery and basically you could do uh, open system restore and then you could do show more restoration points mine doesn't have any because I don't really use this computer but then you would pick you would pick a different day or different time and then you hit next next and then you restore it and there's an advanced recovery system but you need to have a Windows 7 CD now now on, on um, let me just shut this off actually now on um, now on Windows 10, it has some other, it has some more advanced stuff you could do on it without actually having to need to, to to need to have a CD. You don't need a CD at all. But I'm gonna show you some other stuff. So if you go into Windows Update, and if you go into View Update History, you can see what updates have been added to your computer. Um, you could actually do Install Updates. And if you have any you have any any updates you want to remove that was recently installed on your computer, you could remove it here and just hit uninstall. And you could just shut off that feature. Maybe maybe you got an update that ruined your I don't know like Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. You want to get rid of it, you could do it here. And you just hit uninstall program and it'll prompt you to restart your computer. Also, for some people that don't know this, um that may know this or may not know this, but if you go into well, I can't do it on this one. I, I'm gonna have to show you on the other one. Let me just shut off this one. I'll show you what I'm. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right now. Just let me just shut this off. So this probably has it's gonna do updates in the background like it did last time. I didn't finish all my updates. All right. So if you want to do a system restore here, you just hit recovery. It's gonna open up control panel again. You can do open system restore, it's the same thing. And then you hit show more restoration points and you can go back in time basically. Um, if you want to, if you want to, for example, like say for example, you wanna create a restoration point, you could do that. That is a possibility. Um, you open your C drive. You right click on this. PC, hit properties, hit advanced system settings, system protection, and then configure, turn on, and then hit OK, and then you could actually con you could actually set it up to do a system restore on your computer. Uh, nowadays, if you uh, nowadays if you have an issue with Windows 10, they have all this other stuff you could do on it. So if you do recovery again, type that up. You go into if you having P problems with your PC, go to the settings and try resetting it. You click on that. Now you have this option, which allows you to reset the PC. PC isn't running well. Resetting it might help. This lets you choose your, to keep your personal files or remove them. Then it reinstalls the whole operating system. And there's the advanced one. Basically, it changes Windows startup settings, and then and then um, it says you have more recovery options. And then it says if you're trying to open Windows C, it gives you it gives you all these options. You could do a lot of things here. You could actually troubleshoot. You could back up. You have Windows Security. You have Windows Updates. Um, yeah. So here, this is what I was trying to show you before. If I have it here, you hit About Internet Explorer. You see this thing called KB4. KB4. KB four four eight six four seven four. You could actually you could actually uninstall Internet Explorer on your computer if you wanted to. So if you do Windows Update, 
or actually window check for windows updates we're gonna go to windows security and you go to the right one if you go to the control panel and if you go to windows up windows update program features view install updates and see this one's called kb44 whatever if you actually type that in kb four four eight six four seven four so on 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 um on the other one on windows 7 you could actually uninstall internet explorer i guess you cannot do it on this one i guess they, by default they they remove that feature but you should be able to uninstall it on on uh, windows 7 if you if you go to the windows update of the of this you can actually uninstall and remove but you can't do it on windows 7. i was just curious to see if you could do it. you, you can't do it i guess so so this is how you reset your pc you restart uh it will remove everything or you could just keep all your files it's entirely up to you it's a troubleshoot option troubleshoot option has all these pro all these things that hey, maybe you're having issues with you could fix it and um and that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about using system restore recovery options on how to properly fix your computer. If your computer isn't behaving the way it was a couple months ago, maybe maybe a few months ago it was running a lot better and you want to, you want to, you don't want to factory reset. Maybe you want to go back in time a couple of months or a couple of days. You could do that using system restore. It's a really useful tool and it's free. You don't got to pay anything. It comes with your computer and that's how you will fix your computer. If you're having some weird issues with it. Um, with that being said, I hope everyone has a great night and a great evening, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. Take care.